open heavens on the go. Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Topic, how to deal with mountains, part three. Memory verse, Joshua 6, 20. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Bible reading. Joshua 6, 1 to 20. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of Valor, and ye shall compass the city all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on, and compass the city, and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the re reward came after the ark, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city, going about it once. And they came into the camp, and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And seven priests, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, went on continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the re reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priest blew with the trumpets, 
Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. And the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the Harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the, in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And ye, in any wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver, and gold, and vessels of brass, and iron, are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. The message. Today, we shall continue our discussion on how to deal with mountains, which symbolize the challenges we face in life. Briefly, we shall consider three other ways. One, we can deal with mountains by blowing them away, as we see in our Bible text of today. The Bible says that Jericho, which was the bypass for the children of Israel to the promised land, was shot against them, thus hindering their march to their destiny. The wall of Jericho was so thick that houses were built on it, hence it was a great mountain before the children of Israel. The only option was to blow off the walls. This, however, required divine intervention. After the children of Israel had done what the Lord told them to, the wall of the city was blown off and they had free entry into the city of Jericho. So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Joshua 6.20 In the above scripture, we can see that obedience on the part of the people blew off the mountain in their path. Another way of dealing with a mountain is by living on it. This means living above principalities and powers, as in the case of prophet Elisha in 2 Kings 4, 18-37. Mountain dwellers are mountain movers. In addition, we can fly over the mountains. Isaiah 40, 31 says, We will mount up with wings as eagles when we wait upon the Lord. Therefore, beloved, let us learn to wait upon the Lord. I have taught in many places that the correct way to wait upon God is through high praises, worship, and adoration. When we do this, our strength shall be renewed and the enemy shall never defeat us, neither shall we be weary in the journey of life. You want to conquer the mountains hindering your progress in life? Wait upon the Lord in praises, worship, and thanksgiving unto his holy name. Prayer point. Father, please teach me how to deal with the mountains of my life. Make me victorious, O Lord. 
Father, please teach me how to deal with the mountains of my life. Make me victorious, O Lord. Bible reading in one year. Genesis 15 to 18. Him for today. O God, our help in ages past. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.